dongles. If you've ever used a reasonably modern MacBook or thought about buying one and done a little research, you'll have probably realized that it is USB-C City out there and it's not compatible with anything. Okay, hyperbole I know, but listen to anyone with barely any experience on a Mac and they'll tell you that using one is basically just carrying around a sack of adapters so that you can connect anything from displays to hard drives, parallel port dot matrix printers. I mean, damn it, it's almost impossible to find a Mac that will natively use a floppy disk these days. But you know, it's possible to keep just one thing in your bag and pretty much get all the functionality that you need. Something like this six in one hub that Lemorel sent me to take a look at. I'm Mike Cave Dave and I simplify Apple so that everything just works for you and if you want the latest Apple leaks, news and rumours every weekday at 12 UTC, like this video, subscribe to the channel and ring my bell. And I've got to say, I do get it. People use their MacBooks as their only computer pretty often, whether they're at the desk or at home or on the go. And since the MacBooks with M1 were released last November, the amount of speed combined with the pretty insane battery life has meant that Apple's cheapest MacBook Air is more than enough for the vast majority of users. Of course, over here in the tech space, many YouTubers complained that they could only run a single external display with an M1 MacBook Air or MacBook Pro. But for most people, the only time they even connect to another display is if they need to present something at the office or a sales meeting or maybe connecting their TV to watch a movie from their laptops. This hub uses just a single USB-C Thunderbolt port on your Mac, splitting that out into an HDMI port that does ultra 4K resolution, three USB-A 3.0 ports and an SD slash TransFlash card reader, which is basically the little tiny versions of SD cards. As all of the M1 MacBooks have at least a pair of those Thunderbolt ports on one side, you can still charge the Mac directly while using the hub, which is great because a lot of hubs take up both of those ports directly. And while they offer the capability to pass through the charging, there have been issues with charging through a hub for at least the M1 Macs, although I think that's mainly been uh, resolved now through software updates. However, if you want to take the risk of bricking your Mac, you know, go right ahead. I think this way you are completely sidestepping the possibility of having an issue with it. So this makes a lot of sense to me. This also makes a great single connector solution for docking your MacBook at the desk, whether that's at home or the office. Maybe you can have one in each place. That one USB-C connector could connect you to desktop hard drives, maybe an external keyboard and mouse, if you find those more comfortable when you're at the desk, and an external display, giving you a full desktop experience when you're there, and then being able to unplug it and take it with you when you're on the go. And while I don't use a MacBook right now, there is a bit of a makeover coming to my main desk in the studio coming up over the next few weeks, so keep an eye out for that, as I'll be integrating this with my Mac Mini to expand the I.O. there. And I have to say, the build quality on this thing is pretty incredible. The aluminium enclosure is a great match to Apple's Space Grey, at least it matches with my Space Grey Apple Watch SE, which is shockingly the only piece of Space Grey stuff I have uh, to check it against. The fit and finish between the metal and the plastic on the I.O. shield at the back is also very similar to the Mac Mini as well, so absolutely no complaints here. Also included in the package, however, is an inexplicable sticker sheet of football clubs and some stuff that seems like it's been lifted from an Instagram story. So while it doesn't make the product worse in any way, it's just a bit random. Just like the complimentary bookmark that they also include in the package. Just odd. So if you want a single piece solution to pretty much every connection issue you'd ever have with a USB-C Mac, this is a great choice. And it does work with the Intel ones as well. Anything that's got the USB-C port on there, it will work. I mean, you could carry a bag of dongles around, just like everyone thinks we have to anyway if we use a Mac. Sure. But this way is much more elegant and has you covered for pretty much everything that you will need. If you're interested in picking one up, there will be a link down in the description where you can find them. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget, every weekday at 12 UTC, we give you all the latest Apple news, leaks and rumors. So hit subscribe and join us then. Thank you so much for watching.